Now, one of the uh, many upsides of vertical jigging with soft baits is they're uh, fairly easy to jig. Now, we're in about uh, 180 feet of water, and the fish are hanging close to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is drop this bait all the way to the bottom. Now, this particular jig, I'm fishing the SI harness jig. The uh, jig head weight is 4.2 ounces, and uh, we're still in um, slack tide mode right now, so it's easy to get down. If uh, you're fishing a little deeper, a little more current, you may want to go with a heavier head uh, for no other reason than to get the bait down. Now, when I drop, you'll notice that I have my fingers very close to the bale and the line. Oftentimes, a fish will pick the bait up on the drop, and if that happens, you want to close the bale and reel down as fast as you can, because if the fish hits the bait on the drop, the fish is coming from underneath, and when it comes up, there's going to be some slack they're going to need to reel down. So, uh, when jigging these baits, you want to be very ready to drop. Now, the soft baits, as they go down, they have a very natural quiver. And so, what I like to say to folks that are uh, just new to, uh, new to jigging with the soft baits is, the bait's fishing both on the way down and then on the way up. And the uh, you know, rule of thumb with these is about half the hits come on the drop. So, now I've hit bottom, going to engage. So when I bring it to the surface, I just twist the rod as I reel. And the soft bait's doing the rest. As it's coming up, that tail's really quivering. Then I got about halfway up, I'm going to drop it. We just noticed on the fish finder that the fish are holding towards the bottom. So I'm going to work that bottom column. And I'm going to slow the retrieve down, the pause, I'm going to do some traditional jigs. Now, I like to say, uh, I let the fish decide what retreat they want. Drop it. But again, I can't stress enough how important it is to keep your hand ready. The fish hits it. Sometimes it's as simple as just the line stopping briefly for a second. If the line does anything other than the normal drop, close the bail, reel down, and get that slack out of the line. It won't feel like a very big fish right away, but trust me, you want to be on, on the quick, quick draw. I'm just going to drop to the bottom, twitch and reel, twitch and reel, let the soft bait do the work.